What if the Philippines made a bold leap forward in naval modernization? Imagine a 6,500-ton HDF, 6,000 heavy frigate patrolling the West Philippine Sea, or cutting-edge submarines from South Korea silently watching from below, or even unmanned surface. Vessels, large, autonomous war machines, supporting our fleets from the front lines, that let's explore this fascinating possibility of combining ambition, regional strategy, and South Korean defense innovation in this video. The Philippine Navy is on the move. With growing tensions in the West Philippine Sea, modernization has never been more critical. While the Navy has made strides, acquiring modern platforms like the Jose Rizal-class frigates, there's a need. Four heavier, more advanced vessels to serve as command ships, power projection tools, and deterrent forces. Currently, the largest surface combatants in the fleet are the three, 200, Tom Miguel Malvar class frigates based on the HDF 3200 design. But, with new strategic needs and rising regional threats, it's time to think bigger. The HDF 6000 frigate concept, unveiled at Madex 2025, features a 48 cell vertical launching system. This VLS is designed to accommodate a variety of missiles for air defense, ballistic missile interception, and deep strike missions. This behemoth, is a game-changer. Heavily armed, long-range, and capable of leading naval task groups, the HDF-6000 can carry more weapons, sensors, and helicopters than any current Philippine warship. While it may be out of the current budgetary reach, ordering a single HDF-6000 as a future flagship, possibly under a long-term financing agreement, could establish the Philippines as a serious maritime power in Southeast Asia. Now let's be realistic. If the HDF-6000 is the dream, then the HDF-4000 is the practical choice. Peru has already selected the HDF-4000, a 4,000-ton frigate derived from Korea's latest FFG-3 Chungnam class. It's still a massive upgrade from the Miguel Malvar class, offering more VLS cells, better radar systems, and higher endurance. More affordable than HDF-6000, easier to integrate with existing PN logistics and doctrine, faster production and delivery, timelines, and room for Philippine-specific modifications. Just imagine the Philippine Navy with three to four HDF-4000s by 2030, enough to defend key maritime corridors and project power over vast ocean spaces. Meanwhile, underwater capability is essential. And yes, the Ocean 2000 might just be the submarine solution the Philippines is looking for. Developed by Hanwha Ocean, formerly DSME, the Ocean 2000 is a modern diesel-electric attack submarine designed, with export customers in mind. Based on the proven KSS-2 Sone one yield class, it features advanced sonar, AIP, air-independent propulsion, and torpedo systems. But modern navies aren't just about ships and submarines. Unmanned surface vessels, or USVs, are the next frontier. And Korean companies like Hanwha, Hyundai, and LIG Next One are already developing large-scale, combat-ready USVs. Ghost fleet-style USVs, Hyundai's multi-role unmanned patrol boats, and LIG Next One's weaponized USVs with loitering munitions. These systems can be used for patrols, surveillance, mine detection, electronic warfare, and even precision strikes, without risking human lives. Integrating them into the Philippine fleet will add depth and flexibility in asymmetric and gray zone operations. A Philippine fleet of the future could include the HDF-6000 or HDF-4000 as capital ships, Ocean 2000 submarines for underwater warfare, and Korean-built USVs supporting operations 24-7 asked while these ideas may seem bold or even far-fetched they reflect a shift in defense thinking. From reactive to strategic, the West Philippine Sea isn't getting any calmer. And every step forward in capability sends a message. What do you think? Should the Philippines go big with the HDF-6000 or build a balanced force with submarines and USVs? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more updates on Philippine defense and strategy and modernization. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.